hello welcome to my channel to all new and returning subscribers i'm glad that you are here to watch my tutorial today today i'm going to be showing you how to remove a reference from your body of documents using endnote so for my tutorial today i'm using endnote for my citation and there is a particular reference i would love to remove i observe a, a colleague last week was trying to remove a reference and deleted the reference and was observing that it was reoccurring and i'm going to be showing you how i explained to my colleague how to remove the reference so come along with me so here you can see i have this short text that i've copied out from my thesis and i'm going to be trying i'm going to show you how to remove this highlighted reference from this body of text and you can see here we have the bibliography following the document so one way that you should not do your reference, one way you shouldn't remove your reference from the body is this method. So don't do this by clicking, highlighting the reference and click delete. If you do that, you see it came back. I didn't have to do anything. I have just done what? Highlighted it. So imagine I right click and um, just let me delete one after the other so that you can see what I'm talking about. Delete, delete, delete. And now let me continue writing, right? Once the, if I come back to this document, because the instant formatting is on, even if it is off and I did that, immediately the, but the document updates itself, that reference will keep coming back. And you don't want to experience that. So imagine if I choose to remove this particular one that says Talbot 2003. So I've removed it and I continue to do my writing. Let's just assume I continue writing like that. If I do not pay attention, once this document updates itself again, Talbots will come back to the document. So how do you then do the removal of the reference that I would not experience the, the reference coming back? It's similar. If you go here, delete, right? I've deleted that particular one. And I come here to also delete it from here. If you click update, update citation, can you see that it came back? So don't think that you can outsmart this end note by deleting it from the referencing list and deleting from the body. It will always come back because that's a memory. And what do I mean by memory? So if I go to my end notes app, you can see here that there is a document, a document file in my library. And that document file, it carries the exact name as my document so as long as i'm working all the reference i'm adding to this document the end note is making a list of them in it in a making a library of uh, a library of these references so each time you remove it from there it still have the memory here so to just sync it back to the position you've assigned it on earlier so how do you then remove this uh, reference so i'm going to highlight that that okay i'm interested in this particular reference what I'm going to do is to go to edit, go flow. If you are writing from home, you go to EndNote. Doesn't matter which version of EndNote you are using, it's the same concept. And then you go to edit and manage citations. If you click on that, it will open up this window that says EndNote, edit and manage citation. So I'm now going to go and look for the particular reference. Can you see that was the one I put my cursor on? You can see it's highlighted here in blue. And then on this right side of that of this new window that is opened, there is these three tiny dots. You can see them here, or a drop down list. If you click on that drop down, you can see it says Edit Library, Remove Citation, Insert Citation, Update from Library. I'm just going to click on Remove Citation, and immediately I did that. It has removed it from the body of text, and I'm just going to click OK, and what endnote is going to do is that it's going to synchronize it says updating it has synchronized that and you can see that the the wilson 29 2009 is gone and if i even click on update citation it's completely gone can you see that and if i go to the endnotes library can you see that now we have five of the it has removed it also and that's how very easy it is to remove or reference from the body of your text so please do not think that if you click on click on the if you switch this off and you remove it that once you switch it on again that it will not uh, update so please make sure you're using this method to remove your to remove a reference from your document and that will give you a stress-free writing 
and if you find this tutorial useful please remember to share it with your friends or any colleagues that you know that are doing any report writing and please click the like and subscribe button until next time bye